Hey everybody, welcome to episode 8 of Beta 18 RoomWorld playthrough. We, when we last left off, food was a major issue. We've got 37 meals, we've got some pemmican, um, down to just 5 raw materials. We have some rice. Did, we didn't already harvest this this season, did we? No, unlikely. Um, there's no animals on the map. We might make it until our harvests come in. I mean, our the the growing season starts technically on the 11th of April, May, but you know they're 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 getting out a little early, um, getting some things planted, but nothing is even beyond 25%. Um, so I don't think uh, I'm worried we might not make it. We might have to slaughter a warg, which I really don't want to do. Uh, what I was really thinking is maybe we just send someone down to this town right here. It's not very far. 0 0.4 days. They're there and back in a day. We trade. Maybe we can buy some things. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do. The question is, who do we send? We, I mean, we have some package survival meals, which I will unforbid now. Just so they're available. We got the pemmican. We got the meals. I mean, maybe we'll make it. I don't know. Last episode, we got some turrets up. Three out of the uh, eventual five are up. Uh, currently toggled off. Got our single entrance here. Although, of course, anyone could just decide to hammer into a wall. Uh, and then we'd be in a little bit of trouble. We got our research bench down last episode. We got our machining table. I would like to start getting helmets for everyone. Uh, very easy to get killed with a headshot, and then it's all over. So... Um, she is a loner. So Rago from the Great River Alliance was wandering nearby and noticed you could use some help. She would like to join. So n n no hostels. She just wants to, you know, join our colony. Um, she is Grenaket's ex-lover. Oh, I remember Rago now. I, I didn't know that could happen. Um, when she visited, they became lovers. Now... She is a loner, and her traits are neurotic and psychically hypersensitive. And an ex-lover. I, 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 <laughs> I like welcoming colonists, but we're going to reject this one. That's, it sounds like more problems uh, than solutions. Simple helmet, I believe, just takes 70 ingredients. I think it takes some components. Uh... 70 steel, that's it? Wow, we can get this going for everyone. So I'm going to say do until we have one. Counting all stockpiles, and at least we'll say 55%. And any quality is fine. Now, we'll get, the, we'll get the radius down a bit. I don't want you guys leaving the base necessarily to make this. Um, in case we're mining off somewhere and have a pile of steel. I don't, I don't want them running that far just to make a helmet. Um, so we set it at one because as soon as someone... As soon as we have one available, someone will go equip it, and then now we're back to zero. So this will activate it again. So we'll always have one extra one on hand uh, when someone needs it. And yeah, I thought it took components for some reason, so we'll get that going right away. We've got a bunch of steel. Uh, we are getting low on components, though. And this map does have some to mine out scattered about. We've got a, a section here. Which we'll go ahead and... Uh, yeah, two extra that we couldn't see. And yeah, we'll do a little mining this episode. Abandoned camp opportunity. We'll take a look, but we're not quite. We got to figure out our food situation. It's really close by. And twenty-one fifty silver. If we destroy it, I mean, we can get there and back easily enough. The problem is, you know, winning a fight once we're there, dealing with any injuries we might sustain, and basically, you know, is it worth twenty-one fifty or whatever it was to risk? One or more colonists' lives. Already one helmet is done. There's Barrow equipping it. Excellent. A simple helmet can easily mean the difference between uh, life and death in this. Very very easy to get a headshot. Uh, but the helmet will uh, prevent some of those. Now, I think I'm going to take our two... I want to take two guys on the caravan so that we can just carry more. Doc is in a good mood, but slow. I don't want to take anyone who's who's not doing so well, like Snake Eyes, who is... Oh, yeah, he's still got the bonded animal. Um, once once that once he gets finished with that, he'll, he'll be a little bit better. Um, good. I can't tell how well he's doing. He's too big. I can't, I can't see around him. 
Actually, I think that's low. Okay, he's, he's not doing so great. So I think we'll send Barrow and Grizzly. We'll trade some things with a neighboring town. We'll get some food back. And that, that should get us to our first harvest. Uh, you know, this kind of bugs me. I want a clear path through here. So I'm going to deconstruct these. Maybe get it down here a bit. So we can get all of our guys. I mean, it's a bit close for most fights. But uh, we're kind of cramped in here. So let's form a caravan. We want Barrow. And who was it? Grizzly, right? Yeah. We won't take the Warg. The Warg can't carry anything, so no, no boost to uh, carrying capacity. And we'll bring enough for you guys to get by. You're going to need not quite two days, but this trip should ideally take one day. Uh, we'll throw an extra 0.9 days in there to be safe. Bonded leather. Uh, sell for a dollar each. It's kind of heavy. We might take that. Let's see. We'll definitely take some smoke leaf joints. We'll take, I don't know, 50 of them. Uh, oh, right. Not negative. We're not selling yet. Um, what else? All right. Our AI Persona Core that we picked up last uh, episode. I kind of want to sell some of these beds. Decent money. Maybe, the, maybe they're kind of heavy, but, um, you know, they belong to an animal that, that we lost. Well, I could see, I could see it either way. Maybe you want to keep it. Maybe you want to get rid of it. I don't know. But we need the, we need the money. We'll get rid of the steel knife. The uranium longsword is worth that much. Maybe we should have Snake Eyes using this over the thrumbo horn or whatever he's got, or it might even be an elephant tusk. I'm gonna hold on to that for a second. We will take the scyther blade though. That's a nice payout. Um, we've got some clothes we can take. Yeah, we'll take a parka. Uh, it's gonna be summer. We'll, we'll make new parkas for next year. We'll take a duster. How's our weight doing? We still got 20 kg. And yeah, we'll just take a bunch of this stuff. We'll, we'll remake it, but um, you know, hold on to some of the better stuff. Blended wool. It's actually nice, but it's poor. So. And of course, we could just take money, which is probably not a bad idea. I'll take 400. I don't know. That seems like an arbitrary number. And that's good enough. This, this is plenty to get food, I, I am sure. Actually, I'll take... We're going to take human leather. Sorry, Zaza. And cloth we'll have coming in. Everything else we can make something with. 25, I think, is the bare minimum. Squirrel skin, we'll take that too. Because 15 is too little to make anything with. We're at 67.7. That seems fine. And we'll do that. Yeah, 1.9 is okay. If I remember correctly, it should be fine. Yeah, 0 0.4. Okay. So those guys will get ready. And they will hopefully bring us home some food and we'll stave off this. Uh, we got our helmets going. We've got plenty of steel for that. Did add a new bedroom. We've got the makings of a hospital and a guest room. Temperature situation is under control, though we are heading into the spring and summer. Caravan is ready and Grenade gets inspired. So we'll go out and get our caravan. Oh, I, did. I don't remember seeing the direction we were supposed to leave. I probably should have put southeast but uh visit writer's rock big difference okay oops all right excellent now even though we don't grow a lot of wood we would also we're not using a lot of wood we're pretty much going stone for our base walls so i kind of want to get some floors down improve the look of this place a bit um yeah i'm just gonna go get all these this. I kind of like doing the outside, otherwise it creates kind of a weird graphical thing. I like doing the doorways. Um, I won't do that one yet. Well, I think maybe for the freezer we'll eventually do a metal floor of some kind. A metal floor might work for this. I hate to just kind of flippantly use steel, but one concrete per. Fast to walk on cheap and very quick to pour, but quite ugly. Meanwhile, the paved tile is cheap and quick, neutral in terms of looks, and slow to build. How much would this cost us? 132? Yeah, I think we can afford that. It seems reasonable for a workshop. At least it won't be hideous like the current floor. And we'll put wood in the, in the door frames. Why? I, I, I don't really know. That's moving along. We're farming. I didn't increase the farm uh, space for this season. 
but this was a tree area, which is now going to be a, a corn area. And I'm hoping one or two harvests of this is enough to kind of avoid this situation next year. Now the question is what next? I mean, we need a prison. We have the early makings of a hospital. I don't love the location. It's kind of far from the... Well, I mean... I would like the hospital near food and medicine. In fact, medicine we might as well store in here. And I'm going to make one more bed. It's a steel bed. I didn't really take a, good look, a look at how much wood that was using. That's 800 so far we've used, just about. Okay, that might have been a little hasty. Next time a bulk trader shows up, we might end up buying wood. We've already mined out. Wow. How many components do we get out of that? We're up to 50. Nice number. But that might be it for the map. Got some over here. Might as well. Don't have much else going on. Animal starvation. Yes, we need meat for the work, of course. And we don't have a research project either, and our food's low. Okay, let's get the research project going. We've got our gun turrets, yeah. Um, it would be nice to maybe work our way up to assault rifles. Or the vitals monitor and the hospital beds is always nice. Package survival meals for traveling, which I do like the idea of. Cremation becomes handy at a certain point. Um, I kind of want to arm ourselves. I feel like we're not well armed. Start working towards some assault rifles and sniper rifles. Um, we'll get package survival meal queued up after that. Although, given our food situation, I don't really. Oh, I'm actually forget that. Um, how do I left click to remove from queue? Okay. I would like geothermal power which we will need relatively soon. And you know, transport pods are fun. Get that going. And we'll leave it there for now. Maybe vitals monitor after. Why oh, you can queue up, up to seven. Requirements are missing. We need the multi-analyzer, okay. Before the, the bed? No. But this requires, the vitals requires the multi-analyzer, which we'll get beforehand. Perfect, okay. How is our caravan doing? Oh, they're there. The, Work. What are we going to do? Well, we'll buy meat here if we can. I, I don't remember getting a notification that... Uh, okay, now we're talking boomalope meat, cat meat, and rat meat. I guess we'll go with the boomalope meat if it's all the same price. That is already... Maybe that's all we get is just some meat. Well, let's sell this. You guys can hold off until you get back. We'll sell the human leather. We'll sell the scyther blade. Steel knife. I don't know, basically everything we bought we're selling, other than the the traveling food and the two beds. You get much better prices when you go out and visit a town as opposed to someone showing up. So it's it's kind of a nice thing to do. Uh six point five days of food, but obviously that's counting the meat we just got. Okay, so our weight's doing okay now actually. So we'll take the three thirty seven meat. This is a good price for Neutromine, which is nice to have. But we're not quite there yet, I don't think. Um, they have berries. Which might be their only vegetation that we can use. And maybe some wood, although I'm sure that's heavy. So, so let's take all the berries. Actually, maybe we'll just do... Uh, let's do 300 of each. That should get us. Well, actually, I'll, I'm going to stick with the meat. Because meat is pretty rare on our map. Uh, we're still in the positive for money. Yeah, let's get the... Um, what was it we were going to get? Uh, psychic Shock Lance is fun. That lets you uh, make anyone go berserk on the map at any time. Uh, goes through walls or whatever. You know, so if an enemy is having a siege or something. If you, if you choose the right guy, you can go on kind of a rampage and create some havoc. Um, I totally forgot what else we were going to buy. We got the berries. We've got the meat. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, let's look at what they have. Chain shotgun's a decent weapon. Smoke pop belt would be nice. Shield belt is fantastic. Um, 
but it's not we're not quite there yet and they have some statues okay I think we'll I think we'll call this good and get moving oh the wood right the wood we'll carry we'll just get all the wood we can carry uh, which is gonna be maybe more in the 50s or 60s oh maybe more in the 80s okay we will grab 82 wood it seems weird but I think we'll use it and it's not that expensive. Uh, yeah, here we go. And back home we go. Um, now, how are you doing on food there, Warg? Empty. He might start attacking some of us. We need to see if there's a rat or oh, a boomalope. Yeah, we gotta go for it. Um, so let's get everyone with a gun. And this elephant tusk. Ah, this uranium sword. What am I missing? 5.37 damage per second. It's got a lot of hit points. But the elephant tusk is... The elephant tusk is 6.47 damage per second. The market value, 450. Um, uranium value, yeah, 7,000. Uh, I guess you can break it down into other things. It, it probably just doesn't make sense for it to be a, that kind of a weapon. So our two... Oh my god, everyone's everyone's melee. Um, Alright, Doc. It's gonna be you, buddy. Get you over here. Take some shots at the Boomalope and let's hope it... Uh... Wow, they're getting pretty close. How many of them? Just these two? Three? Okay. Um, let's take some shots. Okay, now put the fire out. Excellent. Fire on him. Zaza's already going to okay good. We'll get we'll get food. How's his health doing? Sh shot out his eye. Um so we don't want to finish him off because he'll blow up in our face. Well, that was handy. They just happened to walk right up. Hopefully we would get some meat before... Okay, good. Have you eaten? Excellent. Okay. Whew. I thought he was going to turn on us. We'd lose another one. That would uh, be a bummer. Okay, Doc. How about you get a little closer? There we go. Your shooting is... Wow. You're dead. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the... He was forbidden when he died, which I'm pretty sure means Doc was not responsible for that. Doc. Cannot, cannot extinguish fire. Not in home area. Okay. Well. There you go. And you can't haul, so that's fine. Low food. Yeah, we know, but we got some boomalo. The work's okay for now. We got meat coming. This guy should be showing up any second now. Here they go. Minor break risk for Grizzly. What did you need out there? Just feeling terrible. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't say, but those were your animals, pretty much, that we lost. You're responsible for training them. These batteries, I'm ready to move. Um, question is where? I mean, they're kind of in a walking path here. They're just in the way. This might not be the worst place, given that it's not going to be used for anything else, but then again, do we really want them in the midst of crossfires? Uh, probably not. Just going to put them along the top. Uh, how's our powered network looking? Yeah, I think maybe we will, let's see, we'll reinstall one. Well, can we fit both right here? Yeah. This will do... Oh, that's kind of a waste of space. We'll do one there. Does it re retain its charge? It does. I figured it did. Oops. And we'll get a power line. Jumping across for you. And all, all the way down because we'll put the other battery here too. For blocks, we've got limestone. We'll get that over there. 
put a barrier between them. Oh shit, it's raining, and uh, I totally forgot about the roof situation. Get that up ASAP, please. Where's Zaza? Uh, someone, Zaza, prioritize building roof area where that thing blows up. There we go. Okay. And now, will uninstalling this other battery cause problems? No. Although not, neither one is hooked up to our network yet. Uh, visitor. A weaver from Grey River Alliance is visiting the colony. He's named Budero Fox Irgo. He seems to have a few items of trade. Fantastic. Uh, you cannot be recruited. You can't. Uh, are you worth recruiting? Too smart, psychically sensitive, and very neurotic. But he does have some passion. But um, with our food situation, I think we're not quite there. Who is our social guy? Uh, it is Doc. Okay, so where's Doc? He's idle anyway. That's... Oh, because we have no power, and Doc is basically just researching. Why do we have no power? Oh, I see why. We have a ton of medicine. Some of it's about to go bad. Is that because it would, just wasn't covered for a while? You can see the huge difference in price between these two medicines. So it would be nice to sell one stack... Um, but then again, if we're left with nothing because this is about to rot, that's not good either. But well, he's got no money anyway, so we will sell some. Uh, smoke leaf joint, we'll sell another 12 of those maybe. Wooden club, yep. Uranium longsword. Maybe we smelt that or something. Uh, we've got the awful toques. Yep, we'll make new ones. And that's 147. Do you have anything we want? Uh, beer. But a little, a little expensive. A marble shiv. For some reason, I didn't think you could use marble to make that. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it at that. We will not recruit. Get this power conduit installed as soon as possible. In fact, you need to wake up to that salsa. There we go. We're back. Let's reconnect you to get your wire out of the way. Reconnect you to get your wire out of the way. Um, Zaza. Sorry, buddy. Get that one done, too. We need this battery power. Um, oh, it's funny. I'm like, why is his heater working? Uh, he's on. He's connected to the battery. That's why. No, he's not. I guess just the wind power is generating enough to get a few things going. Zaza just blatantly ignored. Zaza. Oh no, he did build it. It's just it's still not connected. Okay. I think we're connected now. Great. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll need those batteries for uh, times we need to turn on the turret. Oh shit, a poison ship? Okay. Now, this is going to be rough. Uh... It is the start of our growing season. It's close to our base, so we need to take care of this. Um, we will move our three turrets out here, I think. There wouldn't be that much steel to run uh, extra power conduit. Are we, we are getting a bit low for us, I guess. And I bet we've mined out most of it at this point. Yeah, we might need to start researching. the. Dr oh, no, here's a, here's a big chunk. I'll just get that queued. Same with this. Okay. That's a lot of steel. This is clearly an ancient danger down here. Okay. Yeah, let's get our uh, turrets out and figure out where we want to. We'll build a new one, actually, because uh, I think we can. And we have a mortar we could build. But we don't have any shells, I don't believe. Yeah, I don't see any. Um, get them at a decent distance where they're not... They definitely will cover, but not be too close. This is probably the best we can do. So let's say we do... One there, one there, one there, one there. One there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll go for it. We'll have our wall back here. Okay, let's get going. This is granite, I hope. Great. 
Uh, actually, I'm going to lay this out before we get started. Boom. Um, I didn't need... I didn't need that. Uh, so here, 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 here. And we'll need two more turrets. Should build there. Where do we want to run this power? Straight off of here, I guess. It's gonna be 21 steel, 31 steel. 17 steel, not so bad. And then these rocks hopefully will provide some protection for this, uh, for the power conduit. And we're going to reinstall these. And hopefully nothing happens while we are while we are uh, have our, all of our defenses outside. Alright, start with that. We are also going to put some sandbags in front of these. Uh, I wonder if it's worth some deadfall traps. Can these be reinstalled? No. Um, I mean... I don't anticipate these mechanoids running up to do melee damage to the turrets, so it might be useless. I could surround them with some, but we don't really have a bunch of... Oh, we got stone. Throw a bunch of granite traps around. I don't know. This won't like set it off or anything, will it? If we get close. If it does, we're dead. And that's it. Um, in fact, I don't want these guys using this for cover. All urgently. All urgently. Okay, so it looks like we can get close to the ship. Uh, all urgently. Uh, we've got grenades, shotgun, two, b a bow, <sighs> three melees. This is going to get ugly. There's no way around that. Maybe I should have bought a gun. Maybe we can make a gun here. Rush some sort of gun. Yeah, I'm sure we can, actually. Everyone's got a helmet now, at least except Zaza and Snake Eyes with his default helmet. Um, heavy SMG. 75 steel, 4 component. Yeah, we can make like 3 of those. Um, yeah. Oh, I think we're only going to have time to make 2. I mean, if we get if we get our farmland wiped out, we're in, we're in some serious trouble for next season. Um, but we'll get those going. Um, the question is, I think we might just end up using these rocks as opposed to the sandbags. Just to save on materials and time. I mean, these aren't even... Oh, already our trees are getting killed because of poison. Hopefully it was right on the edge here. Yeah, alright, come on guys. I know you got to sleep. This is the kind of situation where we're going to need, like, a, like a raid to show up, or visitors, or someone to help absorb some shots and then take some shots. Item stash opportunity. Uh, 14 days. He's willing to tell us the location of the healer mech serum. I forgot what that does. Oh, oh a one-use super dose of mechanites tuned to heal health conditions. It will target and heal the single worst health condition, affecting someone at any given time. Uh, even on health conditions that would otherwise be incurable. Hmm. They can even transmute themselves into organic matter, forming new limbs or organs needed. Okay. So certain things like uh, hearing loss for Doc, for example, I guess, could be cured. That sounds awesome to have. But um, You know, I know we got things going on, but how much does it cost? It costs 450 silver? Yeah. Uh, wait. Um, not far from us. It's 450 silver. What, do we have to, like, click? How do we, how do we accept that? I might have missed my opportunity to actually say yes, please. Um, let me look at one more time. Sorry about this. It's willing to sell the location of the stash in exchange for 450 silver. 
I think I I think I lost the window of opportunity. Corn plant died already. Man, this is spreading. Come on, guys. We got to... Oh, no, no. Uh, don't care about the party. You guys are not going to the party. Not assigned to construction. Yeah, just do that. Uh, Yaroslav. Oof. Relaxing socially. Not anymore, you're not. No, you're not assigned to construction. Uh, what about reinstall? That's construction, I guess. Smoke leaf has rotted away in storage. Potato plant has died. Man, this is spreading fast. This feels really fast. I mean, it landed here 1.6 days ago. Okay. That was more, more like 1.6 hours. I guess we have slept one time. Um, we gotta get we gotta get this power set up immediately. Uh, quick construction. Let's see. Well, I guess we can change all this back later. Get the construction done. Yeah, that's really spreading to our crops. And we have a mad animal. It's already... Oh, okay. Uh, Barrow? You see it, right? Oh, and then our turret came in. Okay. Great. We don't have any, any other construction projects. Oh, we do. Uh, let's see. I'm going to select floors. Cancel. Cancel. Don't worry about that. We gotta get this done. All of these are up, which is good. Oh man, that hurts. Luckily, I guess it's still the very beginning of the growing season. Uh, we also have some, man, we already ate those berries. We did make some meals, but 37 meals. He left you a marble shiv. <laughs> a marble shiv again. Okay. How's our gun coming along? Snake eyes. Finish that. We'll get one SMG and then we better go. Before this gets much worse. We can save some smoke leaf at least. Maybe a strawberry or two. Well now I know it's not just the area of the white smoke that's poisoned. I mean, this is all decimated already. And look, he's just trying to replant it. He's kind of wasting his time, but I'm not going to be too concerned with that at the moment. Come on, snake guys. Uh, you know, maybe I'll construct a tool cabinet in here. And we're out of steel again. But I'll get one. That affects four benches. That's pretty good. I'll queue it up and I'll put it when it's ready. Come on. All right. So, how about the guy with the bow? What you're shooting at? Two. Oof. You're five. You're five with a knife. Yeah, let's get you that. Grizzly, sorry, buddy. You can stick with your bow, Grizzly. All right. Everyone. Out here somewhere. Grenaked? We're going to put you here. Snake eyes here. Um, you'll be right in Zaza here. When the time comes, hopefully... Doc? Can you hit from here, Doc? Oh no, you've got, you've got, you've got the shotgun, so let's get you over here. Even that might be a little bit close. I'm hoping they focus on the turrets. Um, our warg is here. Can he do anything? Yeah, train him to do that. He can be released. I mean, I hate to do that to him, but let's get you over here. We'll kind of surround him. And then hopefully they... And you've got good range, so let's get you back here, Barrow. And Grizzly, your range is also pretty good. Get you back here. Yeah. 
Okay. Let's do it. Is that a miss? You go ahead, too. Oh, just one. It's kind of on a rough side, though. Let's go ahead and get Doc. Oops. I hate to risk Doc like this. We're naked. You're taking fire. Let's get you going. Nice job, turrets. Let's get you out of here, Doc. I'm gonna unrecruit Doc so we can like. And he's down. Okay. Um. Unrecruit everyone. I'm gonna make this the home area temporarily so we can put out these. Well, I guess we don't need to put out that fire. We'll put out those fires. I don't care about those. All right, we will shut them down. Um. Let's see, Doc. We need to. Okay, he's okay at the moment, I guess. Uh, does someone can someone help put Doc out? Beating fire out of Doc, great. Okay, Zaza and Snake guys, why don't you guys just go melee attack this thing? Is that even worth doing? It's not gonna blow up in your faces. I don't think it does. If it does, we're gonna lose two guys in a stupid fashion, and possibly a third. Please don't blow up, thank god. Okay. Okay. We did it, we got the poison down. We have to replant all of our crops and our trees. Uh, but it's the very beginning of the growing season, so maybe it's not so bad after all. We might be able to... We might want to make another trip down to our friendly neighbor and get some more food. And we'll think about that and uh, make a decision next time. Thanks for watching, guys.